This is Pat Solver with The Doctor Weighs In, and I have a really interesting guest with me here today. It's Amir Dan Rubin, who has a big title. It's uh, President and CEO of Stanford Healthcare. And he presented this morning about Stanford Healthcare innovation, and I'm hoping, Amir, that you could tell us, what, what are you guys doing that's innovative uh, here in the heart of Silicon Valley? Well, it's a pleasure to speak with you today, and and uh, we have an exciting vision at Stanford Healthcare. Uh, we seek to heal humanity through science and compassion, one patient at a time. And it's really that one patient at a time that ties into the theme today at the Personalized Medicine World Conference. And so we're trying to do this uh, innovative care in four key, what we call strategic areas. How do we do this science and compassion one patient at a time for very complex conditions like cancer and cardiac and inpatient care? And the kind of conditions that Stanford gets a lot of. Exactly. How do we do it across a growing network of care? How do we do it for a population of care? And how do we do it for virtual care, for care in the cloud? So those four areas are the key areas that I focused on this morning. Can you tell us a little bit about each one? Absolutely. So when we give us the really cool stuff. Absolutely. Well, it's really exciting. Well, when we think about complex care, we're truly trying to deliver individualized diagnostic and therapeutic approaches to our patients. So for example, right now we have a trial led by one of our faculty members, Irv Weissman, and he's identified a marker on every cancer cell that tells the immune system not to eat it. And he's developed an antibody that turns this uh, marker off. So it turns this don't eat me signal off. And so all the cancer cells are running around with kind of an eat me signal. That's the hope and that's what we're, we're trialing. We also have another approach using uh, genomic sequencing where we're looking for presence of cancer in the blood in circulating DNA. And so the thought here is could we detect cancers earlier by a blood test or for patients who we're treating, can we detect recurrence through a blood test, and that's live, and we're testing that in comparison with other imaging and other diagnostic approaches right now. So this is the blood uh, test for breast cancer that I think was in the news recently. <clears throat> well, this is a blood test for cancer, but we're hoping actually for multiple different types of cancer. So those are some of the things in complex care, but, but moreover, we don't want to just create the leading edge. We want to deliver it in a highly coordinated way. So at Stanford, we've, we've really delivered some of the best patient satisfaction, 95th percentile in the industry, but now we're re-envisioning patient care. And what we're seeing is patients don't just want good service, if you will, every time they come and visit us. They want an integrated solution to all their problems. And by the way, they just assume not come to visit us. <laughs> That's exactly right. So we're trying to get ahead of that. So what our patients have said is know me, know who I am, my preferences. Increasingly, it may be know my genome. Show me the way. Help me make decisions through my life and my healthcare care uh, journey. And coordinate for me, own the complexity of care. So we have launched health navigators and genomic counselors and new online tools so that we can help patients through their complex care conditions. So that's some of the ways we're innovating in complex care. We're also doing this across a network of care. And so we're developing regional health centers where we have multiple specialties in one building. So with, I like to say, one call or one click, you get it all. So for example, in our new neuroscience building, 27 neurospecialties in one building, and the team can have a multidisciplinary review and evaluate my care and my case and personalize the care towards me. That's fantastic. You know, I trained in endocrinology, and um, that was actually something that happened in endocrinology pretty early on because it was a multi-system disease, and you really needed to have all the people in the room and talking to each other. So I think that's absolutely fantastic. Well, th that's right. And the other area that we're starting to explore this leading edge and coordinated personalized care is what we call an accountable care or population care. So we've launched our Stanford Healthcare Alliance, a, a health plan, our Stanford Healthcare Advantage, a Medicare HMO. And in these plans, we're not only trying to screen populations and make sure they got their pneumonia vaccines or their mammograms or their colonoscopies, but what we've learned from personalized medicine is each of us are different. So maybe I need to be screened at an earlier age. So we're actually using these precision medicine approaches in our health plans, another innovative approach. And then finally, the last area we talked about complex care, our network of care, accountable care, is virtual care. So at Stanford, we've watched 
uh, care in the cloud. Your files are in the cloud. Your music's in the cloud. Some of your care is going to be in the cloud. And I can stay home and get my care. So you can. So we now have our ClickWell Care, or Stanford ClickWell Care. You can, have, you can book your appointment online, and you can have your video visit with a primary care physician online. You can even have your medications delivered to you. Uh, we're doing this at employer sites. We have on-site clinics. Uh, we have mobile where patients can communicate with their physicians, and increasingly connected health devices. So a lot of the diagnostics that we're talking about today, increasingly we're not going to need to come into a hospital or a clinic. We'll be able to do them at home. So these are some of the ways that we're trying to innovate through science and compassion one patient at a time. Well, it's uh, really exciting, and I have to say, I trained uh, up the highway from, from you at UCSF, uh, but I, I do know how Stanford functioned at the time that I was in training, and I have to say that this is not your grandmother's Stanford healthcare. This is really exciting stuff that you're up to. Well, thank you very much. It's an exciting time at Stanford, and really an exciting time in healthcare. I'm so uh, bullish on the opportunities for us to truly deliver integrated solutions, not only to medical care, but to health and well-being. And that really is the promise of personalized and precision medicine. Well, thank you very much. It's been fantastic talking with you. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you very much.